Okay, so here's a problem. You want to draw a shape in QGIS, but you don't know how, because although you can see that it's possible to draw shapes, rotate features, simplify features, add rings, fill rings, split features, do all these things, add circles, add rectangles, add an ellipse, they're grayed out. So although you can see that the program can do these things, you don't know how to actually do them. So here's the thing. In QGIS, you can't create a shape. You can't create a point or a line or a polygon without there being some kind of layer to host it. This is the big difference between QGIS and Illustrator or Photoshop or Rhino or AutoCAD or any other program in which you could just normally start drawing. So if you wanna draw a line or a square or anything in QGIS, you first need to create a layer that can host that shape. So to do that, we go layer, create layer, and then we can choose geo package or shape file. So either one of these, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna go with geo package. I'm gonna tell it where to save. Let's just put it on my desktop. And this is gonna be shape. The second thing I'm gonna do is determine the geometry type. So let's say I want to draw a line. Well, in that case, the geometry type needs to be a line. And then I can leave everything else as it is. Press okay. Now I have a new layer in my layers panel over here called shape. The final thing I need to do in order to begin to draw is enable editing on this layer. So I'm gonna actually make changes to the layer. In order to do that, I need to enable editing. And to do that, you press this yellow pencil icon up here, which says toggle editing. Now that I've pressed toggle editing, when I go into edit, you'll see that I've got a bunch of options here. All these options have become uh, black where they were before gray. And right next to the toggle editing icon right here, you can see I've got two extra icons which have now become active. The first one here, which is add line feature, this is specific to the type of layer. So if I had set the geometry type of my new layer as polygons, then this would be an add polygon feature. But because I made the geometry type of my new layer a line type geometry, my option is to add a line feature and only to add a line feature. So I'm gonna press this icon and my cursor is gonna to change to a crosshair. And now I can start drawing just by clicking the left mouse button, my shape. And then when I'm happy with my shape, I can right click once that won't create an extra segment and it's gonna ask me to fill out any extra information I want to associate with this particular geometry. I'm not going to want to, so I'm just gonna press okay. And there is my line. Now, the final aspect of this process is committing these changes that we've made to the layer to disk. So we want to press save layer edits, and now uh, these edits to the layer have been saved. Now it's really important to note that this save icon is separate from the save icon for the project. So uh, me pressing save project doesn't necessarily mean that the changes to my geometry will also be saved. Okay, these are two separate uh, functions. So that's how you draw a line in QGIS. What if we wanna make a rectangle? Okay, so the same process, we're gonna go layer, create layer, create geo package layer. Again, I'm gonna put this on my desktop. This one's gonna be called polygon. And the geometry type is going to be called polygon. So last time it was a line, now it's a polygon. And this time I'm going to add a field. So that's uh, one of the columns that will appear in the spreadsheet that gets associated with the geometry. 
that sounds complicated, you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm going to be calling this new field country name. I'm going to add it to the fields list. I'm going to press OK. Once again, I'm going to press the pencil icon to enable toggle editing on my new layer, which is called Polygon. And you'll see that just like last time, I've got a new option here, which is add polygon feature because it's a polygon style geometry. Okay, so I've enabled editing and now I have the option to add a polygon. So once again, left mouse clicking, I can uh, create a polygon. And when I'm happy with the shape, I can right click once. I'll be asked if I want to fill out any of the feature attributes. And you can see, unlike last time, I've got more than one potential field here, and that's called country name. And that's what I entered as one of the potential fields that I wanted to associate with the geometry when I created the layer. So I'm going to call this new country that I've invented Atlantis. And there we go, we've got a country called Atlantis in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Let's do this one more time. I'm going to go left click to create my country, right click once. And uh, as soon as I press right click, I get this pop-up uh, box, which says, do you want to fill out the fields of your layer? And I'm going to go, yes, I'm going to call this one um, Atlantis South. Press enter and there you go. All right. The final step, of course, is to press save layer edits. You must press save layer edits because otherwise anything you do while toggle editing is turned on won't be otherwise saved. And once again, this is a separate function to saving your project. If you save your project, but you don't save your layer edits, your layer edits won't be saved, okay? Likewise, if you press save layer edits, your project won't be saved. So if your project crashes or something like that, changes to the project won't be saved. The final step is to uh, go through the other types of ways of creating geometry. So as opposed to just freehand sketching, you can go into edit. So with toggle editing still turned on for our polygon layer and with our polygon layer selected, we can go into edit and we can make use of any of these other forms of uh, geometry creation. So for example, add circle, and we've got a bunch of different ways of creating a circle. Let's just stick with two points, one, and then I'm gonna right click here, two. And once again, we have the options to fill out our uh, fields, okay? So here's, a little issue which I've noticed before, which you might encounter as well. Um, and that's to do with different CRSs versus the CRS of your project. So that is the difference between how your shapes get projected. This is an issue uh, I've noticed when you are trying to draw circles. So for example, if you've got a project which is in the UK, you will probably be using the projection system for the UK, which is not WGS. 84, but instead OSGB 1936 British National Grid. So if you're making a map of the UK, for example, you will be using this projection system. Now, the big problem with uh, the method that I've just described is that your geometry will start to look a little bit weird if I wanna create a circle by going add circle, add circle from two points. I'm gonna end up with a pretty abstract shape that is not a circle. And the reason is I didn't set up my layer to be particular to the British national grid. Um, I set my layer up with a projection system for uh, WGS84. So to get around that problem, I can simply create a new layer by going layer, create layer, new geo package layer, Save this on my desktop, but this time I'm going to call it um, OSGB circles. The geometry type is going to be polygon once again, but here under the CRS option, I'm going to select 
the current project CRS, which is already set to OSGB 1936. Press OK. And now if I create circles, first of all, I need to toggle editing. Now, if I want to create circles, you'll see that they remain perfectly circular.